had in Henry before. The first good-looking jock and radio, actually. <laughs> right. Uh, from, from It's a Date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from, well, well uh, after Mondo, right? Oh. Counted ba si Mondo? Uh, I, <laughs> well, we'd like to say... Si Mondo on TV, uh. <laughs> We'd like to thank Carla Vargas, who's actually outside. Can you scream, Carla, if you're out there? Okay. <laughs> she, uh, she, she's actually the one who contacted him and got um, a, a soundbite from Tom wow. Lopez. All right, Major Tom. So we, we could not find him anywhere, I but uh, she was able to find him for us. So thank you, Carla. And here is the new Logi. Yeah. From Tom Lupton. These were the first words out of my mouth at the tail end of the 1980s. And the only words out of my mouth for about a month. Interspersed with crackly records of Exmal Deutschland, Susie and the Banshees, The Cure, Gene Loves Jezebel, The Smiths, and In Excess. Our team would meet regularly in a half-finished office covered in plastic sheets. We were kept alive, barely, by instant coffee and very cheap pizza. Jerry Y, Jerry Driss, Mark Noodle, John Gregory, Jet, and Rima were my family and the most amazing on-air talents that I have ever met. And under Adam, Mike Padero, and Chris Cruz, the team transformed radio and Manila's top 40 culture. The day we sent our phone number, the phone burst to life, and we were thrilled and surprised by the response of the people that had ventured to the cutting edge of the FM band. The callers were as thrilled and surprised as we were. It was like there was this dirty little secret that our tribe had. There was life outside of Ding Dong and Ogie. We became the home of New Rock. It was amazing. The station was soon crawling with like-minded people, listeners and artists alike. They met us, we met them, they met each other, and we were soon celebrating our liberation. In Myricks, Red Rocks, and abandoned warehouses, we were treated to mind-blowing artists that broke us out of pop music. The Identity Crisis, Binky Lampano, The Dawn. Corey Aquino was president. The rock of the 90s was born, and it forced everyone else to innovate or be ridiculed. Then, oddly, Alternative had become mainstream. Intro Voice and other underground staples like After Image made it big, and we started attracting a mainstream crowd. And before you know it, we were having shampoo giveaway contests, body spray fights in the booth, appearing on TV, and hosting rock awards. We were the biggest underground radio station that I had ever heard of. The station to woo Vicky Bello had taken on a life of its own. We grew older. We grew up. We left. We came back. New people came. Brands Brew set up camp in a dark corner of the booth. Myrene, Janet, and other talents joined the family. Dylan showed up on our doorstep one day, looking a little lost. Quark became Quark. By the way, Quark, I still remember you as a nerdy little kid, a little chunky. But I won't tell anybody, don't worry. New jocks and new bands came to take the helm. Heck, I don't even know who the itchy worms are. But that's okay. You probably don't remember who I am either. But years later, decades later, I do remember all those strangers that picked up the phone to say, I really love what you're doing and became our friends. And you was created for you guys. But you guys kept it going for as long as you did. So here's to those people who ventured to the edge of the dial. You did an incredible thing. Keep doing that. Congratulations on 23 loud and proud years, everybody. This is Major Tom for the home of New Rock, NU-107. All right, wow, it's going to be hard to follow that voice. <laughs> uh, my name is Joystick J. Uh, I've been with NU-107 since 2005. I joined a little late in the game. I didn't grow up here in the Philippines, so I wasn't exposed to the wealth of music that you all grew up with. Uh, I moved here back in 98, uh, a stranger to much of the culture, also a stranger to much of the local music scene. And a friend of mine actually suggested that I just try out for an audition. I'd been listening to the station uh, on and off for, uh, for a couple of years, but I didn't follow it as closely as many of you did. But once I became a member of the family, I was instantly welcomed. Um, growing up, I was exposed to a lot of music, and I have to thank my brother, who is tuned in right now, for 
doing that. So, cool, yeah, I know you're out there somewhere. Thank you for uh, exposing me to the music that I should listen to and for helping a geeky little kid try to be cool every now and then whenever you would spin the Red Hot Chili Peppers or Guns N' Roses, uh, even though mom hated it <laughs> on Sunday mornings. Thank you, for, <laughs> thank you for playing all that music that was so loud and made me question uh, what else was out there in terms of music. Uh, uh, thank you to each and every one of you standing here with me in the booth, each and every one standing outside the booth, each and every one of you outside there standing with us as the final hour uh, is upon us. Uh, I'm just going to keep it nice and short and say uh, that the music will always live on. And the reason why I chose this uh, final song is because it it's very significant because it, I remember that the single was released the year that I joined New 107. So this goes out to uh, the batch of 2005, to Russ, to Andy, uh, to Trish who welcomed me, um, to Kiko of course, to Sir Chris for always believing in each and every one of us. We've all said how much you have helped shape us, all of you, even without you knowing it, to Quark. Uh, and to Diego Castillo from Sandwich for the phone call that came unexpected one night to do a little favor and make a short appearance um, in a little labor of love. I have been in the country for a couple of years. Uh, when I started working uh, I, and moving out on my own, I have had six, yeah, six homes and I've been here for five, so really, New 107 has been my permanent address for five years. This one's to all of us who have called this place home. Here's Sandwich on the Home of New Rock, New 107. <laughs> days.